GP and J was one of those uh, CBEs, uh, the community-based enterprise, uh, which was involved in solid waste uh, collection. Uh, they were using the ad hoc, you know, push carts, which were being drawn uh, with uh, by people. Maybe five people would go uh, from house to house collecting uh, garbage at uh, quite minimal fees. It was quite labor intensive. So the project supported GP and J to buy motorized uh, uh, tricycles so that they'll be able to collect garbage with ease and just drive uh, through the community. Uh, the project also supported them with secondary collection, uh, which meant that uh, they have now a hook lift truck, which is able to dump the waste that is being collected in the community right up to uh, the dump site. Millennium Challenge came in with the water issues. They knew that even if they can put up a beautiful drainage, but that drainage will be full of waste. So they now thought of coming up with a component that would start managing waste. Our, our business here as a community-based enterprises, we are collecting waste from the community and we collect this waste from door to door. And then they, have, they put them on the roadside. And then when the day for that collection comes, if it is a Monday, we go in that area for Monday. Then the tricycles will go through with the waste pickers and then they will load in the tricycle, then bring it here at the sorting centre. Then here it's poured on the ground, sort out the plastics, and then the rest of that material that we say this cannot be used is the one now which goes to land field. We came up with this idea because we realised instead of using two containers, we are using three containers. So the other containers could be just for plastics. So otherwise it has helped us to reduce the amount of waste that goes to the landfill. Under the project, even their salaries are to improve. And now they are even on NAPSA, which is a pensionable thing. So, so that time it was just you wake at the month and you are paid and you go. And from the grant, they have even a medical facility. From the grant, we didn't have the, the, the protecting equipment because we couldn't manage, because the money we were collecting from the community was still very few. So we were just working for the sake of surviving. So now the grant had to buy us wind forms. Everything that was required for this thing to take off, it came from the grant. The garbage was all over. We used to have diarrhea diseases because there were piles and piles everywhere. Community were piling waste in their backyards, those who could have the backyards. Those who could find a space anywhere where they, they would feel they would dump, they would just dump and then in drainages. But if you, you go even in these streets, though even the roads are not all that, you'd find that they are clean because of the same project. And people are appreciating because no, they are no longer paying so much money on their children of diarrhea diseases, paying money for Target to spray for the flies. So it's a good, a good thing for, for us Zambians and we appreciate the American people who gave us this taxpayer's money. This is why us as a, a CBE, we have taken this serious because we realize this is other people's money. So we want to use it to, for the, its intended purpose. And this is what we are doing. The results have actually been very impressive. GP and J has been able to uh, collect much more uh, from the community. They've actually even expanded their uh, collection. So that is very good because many more people are are being uh, reached with that service. And also their uh, cash flow has increased. They are able to now make more money and employ uh, many more staff uh, who are now on their payroll. Now when Millennium Challenge came in with this grant, we have seen from the 500 people that we are servicing, as we are talking now, we are talking of 2,225 people subscribing to the system. 
Though the paying has been difficult, but they are beginning to appreciate. It's just a question of trying to have a good reinforcement, talking to the people, and then I think we'll manage. Because this is our system, so it's up to us to keep that system running.